If I had to create a checklist for buying a soup yacht, what would be on it? What I would put onto that list is why am I buying a soup yacht in the first instance? How would I use it? Where would I go? Am I someone who wants to spend weekends on the Côte d'Azur or am I looking forward to traveling the world on an explorer? Am I uh, passionate about canvas and do I want a sailing yacht? There are many, many issues that I would want to look at. I'm often asked how long does it take to buy a yacht? Now if we exclude the period for finding the yacht and we're just talking about the transaction, the maritime conveyancing if you will, that can take anywhere between four and six weeks. However, if during that process you find a major problem with the yacht that needs the yacht to be fixed, then that could be extended by the period it takes to fix the yacht. The most common mistakes that people make when they're buying a yacht, the biggest mistake is they become over enthusiastic. They are in their mind often sitting on the aft deck drinking their cocktail and they overlook some of the problems because they're so excited about buying the yacht and that in a sense that is the biggest mistake that people make. Post-purchase, what happens if there are significant issues with the yacht? Let's look at the technical issues. When you're buying a yacht, you are buying it very much on a buyer beware basis. You have the opportunity to survey the boat, to sea trial the boat, to test the boat. On the other side, on the operation of any yacht, yachts often acquire debts. They acquire liabilities, whether it's fuel, whether it's crew salaries, etc., etc. These are what we call liens. And these liens run with the yacht, such that even if it's sold, those debts follow the yacht. So it's important when you are buying a yacht that you get some kind of personal guarantee from the ultimate beneficial owner of the yacht. If I had one message to anyone wanting to enter into this adventure that is super yachts, is be certain that you want to do it. Don't do it because your friends do it. Do it because it's what you want to do and it's part of your lifestyle.